Hi guys, welcome to our channel, the Academy of Fashion Design. This is our first video and we're going to show you how to draw a nine head fashion figure. Okay guys, first up we are going to need a piece of white paper, a marker or a pencil if you prefer, and your standard ruler. So first off, we are going to make lines. We are going to make ten lines each one inch apart. Guys, next we are going to label each line from one to ten. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So once you have your lines drawn out and numbered, I'm going to show you guys where your basic points of your fashion figures are. So in between number one and two, you're going to have your head here. A quarter inch away from line two is going to be your shoulder. A quarter inch away from line four is going to be your waist. A quarter inch away from number five is going to be your hips. A half inch away from number seven will be your knees. And on line 10 will be your ankles. All right, so after you have your points of where your shoulder, waist, hip, and knees are gonna go, um, you're going to draw horizontal lines on those dots. So for your shoulder, it's going to be a quarter inch bigger than your head. So it's going to be roughly around an inch and a quarter. For your waist, it's going to be under an inch. So what I did is I only used around three and a quarter. And then for your hips, you want it to be bigger than your shoulder just by a little bit. So I just did another inch and a quarter and then added both... Uh, an eighth on both sides and then for my knees I just separated them slightly same with my ankles All right, so once you have your horizontal lines uh, drawn out we're just going to connect the dots so from shoulder to waist from waist to hip and then you're going to do that the same thing on the other side There we go. For our knees, we're just gonna draw circles for our sockets. So I just separated them around half an inch from the point here. And these are roughly around two eighths of an inch for diameter. And the same thing goes for the ankles. You just separate them close to around half an inch or under half an inch. And these are around one eighth of an inch for di uh, the diameter. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna connect the dots again, just on the outside of the circles. So from your hip to your knee socket, from your knee socket to your ankles. And when you get to the crotch area, you wanna go a little bit outside of your point. So around 1 16th or 1 8th should be good because we do want to give it a little bit of gap in there so make it look natural. And we're just gonna connect the crotch to the other side of your knee socket and then to your ankles. Now we're gonna focus on the arms. So what we're gonna do is right on the end of your shoulders, you guys are just gonna add around 2 8 of an inch uh, little circles on both sides and your elbow should reach down around your waist so we're gonna do draw two circles again there a little bit smaller than your shoulder so that your proportions are right and then your wrist should hit under your hips so right here you're gonna draw an even smaller circle for your wrists and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna connect the dots again. So from circle to circle to circle. So we're gonna go from our shoulder to our elbow, elbow to our wrists. And then just do that. And then you can just draw a basic outline of where your hands are going to go. And also you can add uh, the feet.
for our fashion figure for the feet, it's long like that because we have to remember that we picture them when they're wearing heels. And then after that, you're just going to add your neck. Connect the head down to the shoulder. And then we have our basic figure all mapped out. We're going to draw over our basic figure here and make it more human-like by adding a little bit of contours throughout our body so it doesn't look as boxy as it looks right now. So I'm just going to trace out the head here. I'm going to bring down the neck. Down. And with connecting your neck to your shoulder, you don't want to go on this line. You want to go a little bit up like that and then connect it. And going down because um, our shoulders naturally connect. Uh, it goes up, not just on this point here where they meet. And then what you can do is you can just go down on your shoulder and when you're doing the arms and the legs, you don't want it to do, you don't want it to go in a straight line because you do want to give it a little bit of shape because again we're trying to get as close to a human figure as we can. And so we're just going to go just outside the lines and curving it a little bit, curving the arms a little bit so that it looks human like. And on the arms again here, we're giving it a little bit of meat down to our wrist to our wrist and then where our arms are going to be all right so we're going to connect our torsos so we have the upper body here and the hips around here so what i did is i just drew a line and as you can see once i got to the hips i don't follow the line at all i'm going to curve out because i want to give her that little bit of waist so that she doesn't look boxy on her hips for the bust area this is completely optional you can also add uh, the breasts so what you can do is you just you can just at number three your bust usually starts and then you can just do a little bit of a curve the other side come out do a little bit of a curve there you have it you have your simple bust area done right, so we're on to the leg area so again you want to draw a little bit outside of the lines because we want to give her a little bit of meat so she doesn't look like a stick figure standing up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw from the hip down to the knees. Coming in, I want to draw her crotch here and just do the same thing. Draw a little bit outside of the line, give it a little bit of a curve, not too much, just so that she looks like she has a little bit of meat. All right, so we're going to go to the thighs. Um, what I like to do is I like to do a little bit of a curve on the outside here because this is a really meaty part of the thigh So that it looks realistic and then on the inside. I'm just gonna pretty much just follow the lines down to my ankles I don't have to worry too much about giving this part a lot of contour But when it comes to the outside part, I like to curve it out and then just bring it down into the circle of my ankle and curve it out, then bring it down to my ankle. So in the ankle, you do want to give it a little bit of a bump on the outside. Just follow your circle. That little bit of contouring makes it a little bit more realistic. And then just follow that feet. All right, so we pretty much have our fashion figure sketch here done. What uh, not a little detail that I like to add is the collarbone and then once you have that you can just erase over the pencil lines that you have made and then you have a template that you can use if you want to trace over it over paper or if you want to just draw over top of this and you have a clean looking fashion figure All right, so using this, if you practice and you keep sketching, um, some of my work are over here. These are the same idea. These are all nine head sketches. They just look a little bit bigger because my paper here is bigger, but once you have your basic figures, you can take this and put them in different poses and draw uh, your outfits over top of them.
Thanks for watching our video. We hope you found it useful. Feel free to share it, make sure you subscribe, and give it a thumbs up.